Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to another mini pocket letter Monday. <laughs> so today we are working on a mini pocket letter for the Facebook group. Um, this month's swap is a mini pocket letter swap and it is going to be your favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> so I, it's very hard to decide which Christmas movie is my favorite but I have to go with How the Grinch Stole Christmas because it's the one that I just watch all the time <laughs> even when it's not Christmas so I'm going to start off with a striped Christmassy paper for my inserts a two and a half by three and a half And then I've actually got some fun things to put on there. Some printables that you can also go on over to my Facebook group and get. They're in the printable section of the photo albums. So I am just going to Put those on my inserts and that's going to leave a great border of that sparkly paper. So the first one is a cute little um, invitation I guess <laughs> and it says, oh, hold on there's something stuck to this one, it says you're invited and what is Hubilation says who, all who's, including the Grinch, and where Crazy Crafters Creative Haven July swap because this is what this mini pocket letter is going to um, go towards. Can't really see it very well on the camera. And then this one is the feast menu, and it has roast beast. Who hash and who pudding. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> I'll put those in there. And then for the center pocket, we're going to do a shaker. I thought it would be really fun to do some green glitter in there. And I've also got some hearts I just want the red ones and only a few not too many so I'm going to pick those out these are sequins that I had gotten from Michael's during Valentine's Day so a long time ago <laughs> Let's do a few more. I'm going to do it ahead of time, not while I'm trying to hold the glitter in there because I know I'm going to get glitter everywhere. <laughs> the last time we did glitter, oh my word, I still have glitter everywhere. Fun story. Fish are attracted to glitter. <laughs> and we had gone to the beach. Um, not too long ago. It was last week. And the fish kept nibbling on us. And we couldn't figure out why. Because, you know, fish t aren't normally attracted to human flesh. <laughs> So we were so confused and then a fish came up and it jumped over my arm and I was so shocked and I, Daniel saw that I had glitter on my arm and I was like, oh my word, you know, that makes sense because, you know, they're attracted to the scales and whatnot and they are kind of glittery. 
So I'm going to pour this green glitter in there. I'm going to do quite a bit. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we were debating getting out because, you know, we didn't want to be nibbled anymore. But we were like, you know, we'll stay in a little bit longer. You know, they, they won't come over to us anymore, right? No. I got nibbled on the butt. <laughs> and I was bleeding. That's how, you know, forceful this fish was nibbling at me. It was nuts. So, fair warning. Do not use glitter before going in <laughs> the beach. <laughs> Or any place with fish. I need a new glue stick here. Come on, open up now. So I'm just going to seal it with a good line of hot glue. Make sure all sections are closed in because I don't want any glitter spilling out. Give it a good shake. Uh oh. We have a bit of a problem down here. And I got glitter everywhere. <laughs> I was so close to not. That's sad. <laughs> I'm going to give that a little cool down and then just form it around that hole. Luckily I planned on covering that as well. Oh, excuse me. Well, got glitter everywhere. <laughs> Even when I was so careful Pouring it in and whatnot. It's just attracted to me. <laughs> well, it's like my little sign says up there. I craft so hard I sweat glitter. <laughs> just took a baby wipe and hopefully that cleaned up most of the glitter. Still have some of my hands, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so then I'm going to put this. Those little hearts are just kind of sinking in there. That's okay though. Right in the center, I'm going to put a red glittery heart. To represent the Grinch's heart when it grows. All right. And then I have some fun fur that I thought would be so cute to add on. <clears throat> I'm going to cut it in half. I wish I had green, but I couldn't find any. I could dye it, but that just takes too much work. Let's see. I just need a little chunk for up here. Kind of spread it out a little bit. So it doesn't look so funky. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna do some on the back. Actually, you know, I think I'm gonna get a different ribbon. Maybe like a, oh, well, I don't have any green, but just a red will work, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the bottom. Just kind of give it a frame. Flip it over, get the other side. And then put a section of the red behind that faux fur just to cover up that because <laughs> it looks pretty ugly. It's not necessary, but it'll finish it off a little bit. Look a little nicer. Like I need to trim off a little bit here. All right. Then I'm going to add some of this over here. I thought it would be kind of fun because you know Whoville is all about funky textures and you know so I thought it would be fun to add that actually kind of looks like the uh, trees from Horton Hears a Who and the Lorax so I'm just gonna put some glue on the little puffs just to secure it. Sometimes I do a stapler with this trim though. Kind of depends on how picky you want to be. Tons of strings on this one. Looks like I could have trimmed that down a little bit more. There we go. Oh, it's looking so good. There's glitter in the faux fur. <laughs> it's quite junky, the faux fur. Make it a little funky looking. <laughs> He's got some spiked hair. <laughs> And then for the back, for our goodies, oh, you can see the hearts in there a little bit. I have some other printables. I print or created some recipes that you can print off. It's the Grinch Drinks and Grinch Fudge. So don't forget to head on over to the printables page to get those. Again, you can't really see it on the camera very well. They turned out so cute, though. And I made them the perfect size to fit right in your pockets. And then I have some chai green tea, which I thought was appropriate for, you know, Christmas and the Grinch. 
the green tea goes with the Grinch and the chai goes with Christmas. <laughs> chai is my favorite. And then I wanted to include some little hearts. Since I used some in here, I thought it would be fun to have a few as a goodie. I'm just going to stick it in there with the recipes. Yeah, looks like that one will do. Oh, there we go! How cute! So there's the back. And there's the front. Get a close up. Oh my word, it's so cute! <laughs> Alright guys, do not forget to head on over to my Facebook group and just look under events and there will be uh, July's monthly swap and it's any or any Christmas movie and then you could do your favorite Christmas movie if you want to. Um, it's kind of up to you. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, that's not your favorite Christmas movie. But yeah, just a mini pocket letter this time. I think it it's going to be a good swap. It's going to be so fun. And I can't wait to see everybody's favorite Christmas movies or the Christmas movies they do. Um, and then don't forget to head on over into the photo section in the printables album. And you can get your printables. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This was so much fun and it turned out so cool. <laughs> I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.